Hi, today we're going to introduce a couple of videos covering the export from Flare of jobs into computer graphics software and the import from other software into Flare. This is not a comprehensive guide, it's merely an introduction. We'll go through things in slight detail just to introduce to you how to do things, but if you wish to do them thoroughly and well, you would need to read the Flare manual. Today we're going to do a video about exporting from Flare into other programs. This is something that is often done in order to be able to create backgrounds or match moves together into a CG environment. We have our normal flare window. We have our rig, which isn't turned on at the moment. And I'm going to open a job that we have previously recorded. This is a job. It has moving target. It has all the axes moving. It has a focus axis moving. It has 200 frames. In order to see what's actually happening with this job, first of all, I'm going to view it with the rig model. This rig model shows the target and the movement of the camera. So if I go to the start and run the move, That is the move that we have done using this machine and saved as this job. Going back to my numeric screen. So I'm now going to export that. So I go into File and I find CGI Export. This window comes up and this is the window that allows me to export to various different files in order to be able to use in computer graphics systems. First of all, I'm going to decide what to call the file that I am going to export to. I'm going to browse first of all and go to my desktop and make a file called export dot X, Y, Z. Now I have the address I'm going to export to. First of all, I have to decide what data format I'm going to be using for the information that I'm exporting. And here, I've just, I have all these choices. I can export in Cartesian from MRMC. I can export Cooper. Lightwave. I can export Cartesian three node Euler's or if necessary I can use FBX. Here I'm going to be using MRMC Cartesian for simplicity. The coordinate system that I'm exporting to also needs to be chosen. Here I can export to an MRMC Cartesian system or Softimage, Cooper, Maya, Lightwave, 3D Max, or Motion Builder. Here I'm going to go into a Maya Y up. This is the most popular at the moment and is the most commonly used that we have experienced. My file is going to overwrite rather than be added to something. I'm going to include the job name. I'm going to include the lens name. I don't want the aperture. I'm not outputting a bloop, but I do want to output frames rather than boundaries. Boundaries are the intervals between the frame when the shutter is closed. This works for film cameras, but is not something relevant in video systems. So I'm going to change that to frames. The time units I'm using is frames. I could use seconds, I could use other systems, but frames is what is commonly used across the board. 
My units for my export is meters, inches, feet, or centimeters. I'm going to use meters here. I don't want to export my field of view. I don't want to export my waypoints only. That completes the basic settings I need in order to export. If I now click on export, the data is quickly exported. I can now, if I wish to, just check that file by going and looking on my de desktop and seeing there's my export XYZ file. If I open that, it has all the header with the information that I wanted it to have, data type Cartesian, my or Y coordinates in meters, the lens. I have 200 points. And I'm exporting the X viewpoint, the Y viewpoint, the Z viewpoint, the X target, the Y target, and the Z target, and also the roll. This move was recorded with roll level set, so the roll doesn't change. This file can now be taken straight to a Maya system where the plugin, which has been downloaded from Camera Control website, has been imported into the Maya system and installed. Here we have a normal Maya screen and we are going to load, first of all, the MEL script so that we can do imports from Flare. We're going to load a script here and the script we're going to load is a MEL script that we have previously downloaded from camerascontrol.com. That is now loaded and we are going to execute that. And here we have our import window. So we're going to import some MoCo. Now we're going to choose the file. The file is on the desktop and it is not visible here because we need to choose the file type. We've chosen the file type as the .xyz and there it is, export.xyz, which is what I exported from Flare. Now I'm going to import that move and it is importing. I can now get rid of these windows and the move isn't visible there because the scale is not correct. This version of Maya is scaled in centimeters at the moment but our job was scaled in meters. Let's change our scale to meters. Now we have a job and we need to maneuver our window in order to be able to see it. There is our camera at the start of the move. And we can now play that It matches the move that we have exported from Flare and successfully imported into Maya. This has been a Mark Roberts Motion Control Training video. Thank you for watching.